cars and bullets go flying in a Cudahy pursuit. Why the driver told police he would have been killed if he stopped. That is our big story tonight at 10, a fleeing vehicle and shots fired at police. And we are getting a dramatic look at video of an arrest in St. Francis. Our Ashley Sears is live with more of this footage that shows a very dangerous pursuit. Ashley. Yeah, Ted, investigators say the 26 year old suspect fired shots toward a police squad. He has now been charged and for the first time we are seeing the moments that led to his arrest. A routine traffic stop takes a dangerous turn. Cudahy police try pulling over the speeding car. Moments later, two gunshots are fired from the passenger window toward police, striking the back of the suspect vehicle. Less than two miles from where the chase started, the car comes to a crash at Packard Avenue and Lake Drive in St. Francis. On the ground! The passenger takes off running. The man behind the wheel is taken into custody. He's, he has a gun. He swears he's not going back to prison. From the back of the squad, the driver warns police about 26-year-old Iroquois Ragazzi, saying he had threatened him with a weapon. And that's why he kept speeding. I couldn't do anything. He had a gun to me. What was I supposed to do? He says Ragazzi had been involved with another shooting at a Milwaukee hotel one day prior. He's a very on edge. For hours, police searched the area looking for the 26 year old. Please get in! Eventually finding him in a wooded area near the FBI building in St. Francis, arresting Ragazzi and putting an end to a dangerous pursuit. Rigazzi has been charged with multiple felonies, including felon in possession of a firearm and first degree recklessly endangering safety. The driver of the fleeing vehicle has not been charged. Reporting live outside of the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. We've reported bits of this story, but you put it all together in a timeline for us, Ashley. Thank you.